Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to blend two images together using layers. Um, I'm going to keep this video quick and sharp to save you guys time, but if you need to pause the video at any point or slow it down, feel free to. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. So as you can see, I've got three layers in the bottom right hand corner. I've got my background layer, I've got my skull and I've got my rose. My rose is on top of my skull and this is important. And you'll see why later on. The rose doesn't quite blend in with the skull and I want to change that. Um, this technique actually works multiple times so you can do an infinite number of layers and images and blend them all together as you like. Um, but this is just quickly showing you how it sort of works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my eraser tool and then I'm going to go into the settings. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the size there but I'm going to worry about the hardness here and what I want. I want my brush to be at 0% which means it's going to be feathered and it's going to be uh, it's not going to be a harsh line it's going to be blended out gradiented and then I'm going to come into my opacity up here and I'm going to put it to around about 30% so once that's all done um, I'm going to come down to my color palette down here and I'm going to have my black in the background and my white in the foreground and um, that's important so make sure you've got that then I'm going to come back over to my layer section over here and come to this little symbol here, which is add layer mask. Um, so this adds this little mask here. And what this basically does is um, when you apply black to this layer, it erases the image. And then if you apply white, if you do the reverse of that, it brings the image back. So this allows you to manipulate the image without um, that ruining it, basically. So you can always come back from your mistakes. Um, so yeah, this is a handy tip to have to start using straight away because it's going to help you in the long run. Um, so as you can see, I want to get rid of this little bit of rose here just to blend this in slightly. So what changing the opacity of your brush actually does, if you think of sort of like a grey wash, it builds up the opacity of your tone that you're using. Um, so eventually it will, it will go black. And this just allows you to be more precise. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially it. If there's anything you guys didn't understand or anything that you think I may have missed, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you ASAP. Um, leave us a like and a subscribe if this did help you in any way. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these videos just because I know there's not a lot of help out there. All these videos will relate to tattooing in some way as that's the industry I'm in. Um, so yeah, if you are in the industry yourself, be sure to share this video with anyone else that might need help on on the old Photoshop front, but um, yeah, cheers for watching guys.